Good morning, everybody. It's March 3rd, 2018, and this is episode 5 of the Michael Pina Senior Show. Thank you for following me on Instagram and Twitter, at Michael Pina Senior. Uh, thank you for my new followers, for liking my page on Facebook at Pina Financial uh, Coaching. Email me at any time, coachp2210 at yahoo.com. I want you to hold me accountable for the words that I'm saying, because I care about you. Bill Parcell said, knowledge is confidence, and confidence lets you play fast. All right, we're going to recap episode four. Uh, episode four is Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps. Um, that's the philosophy that I'm following. That's the philosophy that I want you to follow. Uh, you have to have a guide. You have to have something to go by, and that's what we're going by. All right. Um, if you've been following me, yet by this time you should have cut your credit cards up. You should be right now working on baby step one. If you've gotten beyond baby step one, you should be on baby step two. Baby step one is a thousand dollar starter emergency fund. Um, baby step two is a debt snowball, where we're listing our, our debts lowest to highest. And we're paying them off one at a time, except for your home mortgage, okay? So then you might say to me, well, how do I come up with these this extra money when uh, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, like 78% of all Americans are? So, it's, so you, you know, you've got to get on a written budget. That's what we're going to talk about today, a written budget. And I don't want you to do it alone. You need to hold, have somebody hold you accountable I can hold you accountable, but I'd rather have you sit down with your spouse or significant other and go over this together. That's your homework assignment for this weekend. I want you going over this budget together. If they won't sit down with you or if they won't do a budget with you, you've got more than money issues. You've got some relationship issues, and you need to take care of those relationship issues before we can work on your money issues, okay? I'm lucky. I've been married for 24 years and I've been with the girl of my dreams for 28. I mean, it's been awesome. I mean, and Meg and I, we've been we've been through a lot. It's not that we've gotten along for 24 years of the 28 that we've been together. I mean, but I tell you right now, doing these budgets together, being able to have the open communication about money together, I mean, it, it does nothing but good things for our relationship. And that's what I want for you. It, it, you know, um... With, with our kids and everything else, too, I mean, it, I'm wealthy beyond belief because of what we're able to communicate. Communication is key. Communication is absolute key, and it starts right now with this budget plan, okay? So go on Dave Ramsey's Every Dollar Budget, okay? This budget app, which, which is easy to download. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? I know that for a fact. Um, but get that budget app. You put your income on there, and then you list all your expenses. And you can take a look at what you're spending your money on, what you need to cut back on, okay? And, um, you know, you, you, gotta, you can't be going out to dinner anymore right now. You can't, all right? Unless you're done with baby step three, all right? You got to stop going out to eat and spending your money on crap, all right? So then you say, well, you know, how is it that, you know, because our most difficult part is our food budget. And that's what I'm talking about right now is the food budget. And, um, you know, so you've got to set yourself up and see what you're spending your money on. And a lot of times that's what a lot of people spend their money on. For us, it was Starbucks. I mean, I was spending 150 bucks a month on Starbucks. I mean, you know, just do the math. That's $1,800 a year, $1,800 a year on Starbucks. I got it down last month. I hate to say it. I spent 40 bucks on Starbucks. You know, that's between Meg and I, but I mean, 40 bucks, that's still 500 bucks a year. And I budgeted for 20. So I was over budget because of Starbucks. All right. And I got to work on that. Hold me accountable for that. But, um, our food budget, we set at 150 bucks a week. And you wonder, well, how can you make it on 150 bucks a week? I mean, that's still 600 bucks a month. So you got to learn how to cook for yourself. I can't say like Dave Ramsey, I can't eat rice and beans, beans and rice. I can't do it, you know. But I do expect you to work within a budget. You know, I do 350 to uh, 400 games a year officiating sports. I'm working at UPS. Um, 
I need to eat right. I need to eat healthy. And, um, you know, nothing gets me more excited than when I come home and I see Meg watching Pioneer Woman or Rachel Ray and I see her with a notebook and I'm like, ooh, ho, oh, I'm going to be eating good next week. All right. And I'll tell you, some of her, some of the things that she makes is just unbelievable. I mean, last night, um, she made stuffed meatballs, just unbelievable. As a matter of fact, you know, I'll list her stuff on my, uh, in my blog. I'll blog once a week at least what we're eating. Ask me what we're eating and, and follow the recipes. It's a good place for you to start because um, you've got to be able to go out and price your groceries. You've got to be able to spend your money right. We go to BJ's. We go to Market Basket. Um, and, and Meg got mad at me last week. We got we got chicken from Market Basket and the chicken from BJ's was a little more expensive. It was two bucks more basically, okay? But she could get a full meal out of that the, the, the BJ's chicken than the Market Basket chicken. So for two dollars more, we get another meal, you know? And, and I tell you right now, getting one of her meals, I love chicken, all right? Absolutely love chicken. And uh, two chicken meals is better than one. That's all I know, all right? So... You need to get on a budget. Get on that written budget. Sit down. Go over it. If you've got questions, you need to ask me. I will help you with that. That's where you're going to find the extra money to put towards your emergency fund. That's where you're going to find the extra money to start working on your debt snowball. You got to make some hard decisions and you got to start cutting some crap out of your, out of your lifestyle. All right. Cause a lot of times that's all it is, is we're living way beyond our means. And, and you got, you got to stop doing that. You got to stop doing that. It's as simple as that. Don't tell me I don't know how to cook. Don't tell me I don't know how to do something. I hate excuses. Hate excuses. Don't tell me in this in this information age that we're living in, the technology age that we're living in, that you don't know how to do something. You can watch videos. Go on YouTube. You're watching me right now. You know, if you if you're interested in eating something, then YouTube it. You know, watch the Rachel Ray show. Take a couple of minutes. Watch the Pioneer Woman. That's good stuff. It's good food. I mean, come on. If if I can do it, you can do it. All right. So, with that being said, I hope that this week was an enjoyable week for you. It was an enjoyable week for me. Um, I'll be running the show basically Tuesday to Saturday because that's when I work at UPS. So it gets my blood going. I need to get that blood going before I go into.